Hello guys, good morning. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SPC Tutorials. As you all know, my name is Dr. Joseph. In today's video, I'm going to be doing revision on fertilization and organogenesis. This topic has been treated already. I just, just want to do brainstorming on how much you've understood this topic. Now, this topic has to do with cleavage of what? Zygote. The process by zygote splits into different parts. Called what? Blastoma. The zygote splits, it forms what? Blastoma. Now, smaller blastoma is called what? Micromen. While larger ones are called what? Macromen. When zygote splits, the, form, the splitting of the zygote forms what? Blastoma. Smaller blastoma are called micromen. Larger, larger blastoma are called what? Macromen. Please, the splitting of the zygote. There is the mass of the cell called blastula. Mass cell blastula. These are called what? Mass cell that are what? Cleavaged to produce this idiot. Okay, now we have different types of cleavage. Now, the various types of cleavage are categorized based on one, the quantity, the quantity of yolk presence quantity of yolk presence to its distribution distribution and know it's symmetrical pattern cleavage are category uh, cleavage is categorized into the following based on we okay okay uh cleavage is categorized into different types based on which of these criteria a quant qu uh, quantity of yolk to its distribution theory a c symmetrical pattern d all of the above e none of the above it is what all of the above because this 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 are the criteria with which cleavage is what categorized now the part of the egg that has a lot of yolk is called the vegetal pole. The, veg the vegetal pole is that pole that possesses a lot of yolk and it is made up of what? A nucleus and okay, a nucleus and what? Active cytoplasm, okay? It is very, it is very, very what? Yolky, eh? It has a lot of yolk in it and it is found at the lower part of the egg. Why the why the part that has little or no egg is called what? Animal animal what poo. Little or no egg is called animal poo. Why the one that has a lot of egg is called what? Vegetal poo. Please take note of that. When an egg has little or no egg, such egg is symmetrical. Symmetrical, please. A symmetrical egg is which of these? A symmetrical egg is which of these? A equal and meroblastic. I don't think time is going to permit me to do this. B equal holoblastic. C unequal. Meroblastic D. Let me use what on equal on equal and monoblastic, then equal and holoblastic. So, what is the answer? An egg that has little or no. Yolk in it is called what? A symmetrical egg. Symmetrical egg produce, produces which of these? Is it equal and monoblastic? Unequal and monoblastic? Unequal and meroblastic or equal and holoblastic? The answer is what? Equal and what? Holoblastic. While the egg that has moderate amount of egg in it, that is, the egg is evenly distributed, such egg is what? Homo blastic. Homo what? Blastic. Homoblastic egg is an egg that has moderate amount of egg in it. 
much that matter of what you can it and they are even what this tree booted okay we now uh, we now also have the meroblastic head meroblastic now let me explain this meroblastic and holoblastic very well now since the holoblastic egg has a little yolk in it the furrow is able to penetrate through the egg which means there is easy penetration through the egg since it has what little yolk in it but meroblastic egg is an egg that has a lot of yolk in it therefore the furrow is not able to penetrate through the egg so take note of that it is very important okay now we now have uh, different types of eggs we have different types of eggs and i'm going to be giving you questions on that which of these type of egg is possessed by arthropods which of these eggs is possessed by an arthropod he said a i'll give you iso lecitho egg b i'll give you tello lecitho egg c i'll give you a uh, discoider egg D, I'll give you central lecithal egg. Arthropods or insect possess which of these? They possess what? Central lecithal egg. Because the eggs are large and they are collected at the center of what? The egg. So you say central lecithal. Central means what? Center. Central lecithal what? Egg. And central lecithal egg are usually superficial since it has a lot of yolk in it you call it what meroblastic all right these guys they are superficial and what meroblastic since it has a lot of yolk in it blastodics is associated to which of these blasto disc has to do with which of these blasto disc has to do with which of these a as lecito telecito discoida central lecito please the answer is what a discoida egg a discoida egg is a type of egg that has enormous yolk in it as a result producing what a microscopic spot called what blasto disc blasto disc is concerned with what a discoida egg Birds, birds, uh, squids, uh, fishes have which of these eggs? Birds, reptiles, fishes, and squids have which of these eggs? Option A, B, C, and D. Please, they have what? A discoider egg. Just like to the last two eggs is concerned with what? A discoider egg. Please, annelids, mollusks. And astro okay, annelids, mollusk, and amphibian, e.g., frog, mollusk, annelids, and frog or amphibian possess which of these eggs? Please, they possess what? Telolesita, what egg? Take note of that. Now, this Lester egg, they, they are essentially what? Essentially, what collected and they are usually what enormous they are unequal the eggs are unequal but they are what holoblastic which means that the fruit can still extend but as as for the isolacetol or oligolacetol egg the eggs are what evenly distributed okay they are evenly distributed examples are found in amphibians sponges sisters and mom okay no, no no not affiliates that was a mistake i said mamas sponges sisters okay and the amphusus okay sponges sisters mamas amphusus possess what isolacetol or oligolacetol what egg this egg are usual are usually what equal and holoblastic take note of that now we now have different types of cleavages we have 
we have the uh, bilateral cleavage is possessed by nematode. Nematode possess bilateral what? cleavage. Then radial cleavage. Radial cleavage is possessed by sisters and chordates. Sisters are what? Chordates. Then spara egg. Spara egg is possessed by Annelix Mollusk Mollusk Platzi Helmix and Nematin Nematin Annelix and Mollusk possess what? Spara cleavage so that is for that. Now I've explained. Excuse me, this noise is too much. So sorry for that, that for the noise I made from the background, please. Uh, where did I stop? I think I stopped at the different types of cleavage. You know this is a passage, so we are just that uh, is studying this. Like the bilateral egg, which is uh, possessed by nematodes. Radia is possessed by sisters and chordates. The spire is. is Possessed by annelids, mollusk, platyhermites, and what? Nematin. Please take note of that. Now, during organogenesis, organogenesis means what? The formation of what? Organ. And it occurs in the embryo. Take note of that. It occurs in the embryo after what? Gastrulation. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the cells that make up the embryo exhibit what? Movements. That is, the, the cells that make up the embryo, they will move towards what? A path that is what comfortable for them. Now, this movement is based on two criteria. Based on the epithelial cells and mesenchyme cells. Right, so, these are the two criteria during what? The state of what? Their movement. You know the embryo has three divisions, the ectoderm and a mesoderm, what kind of noise is this? Mesoderm and endoderm. Endoderm. Now my emphasis is based on this mesoderm. Now this mesoderm splits into two, into one uh, dosa Dosa epime to central mesome and tiri ventral hypome. Please, the meso the mesoderm of the embryo put, divides into three parts: the dosa epime, the central mesome, and what? The ventral hypomere. It is this ventral hypomere that would differentiate to outer somatic and inner uh, splanic. Okay, between the at, uh, be, between the outer and inner splanic is what a colon a, a colon. All right, it's a fluid actually. Now, please, this uh, this planning uh, part is what produces what smooth smooth muzzle. All right, it produces what smooth muzzle. So at this point, to call it a day, I've given you all that you need to know in this topic. At least, if any question should emanate from this part, I am not guaranteeing you that you everything I've said will come to pass. No. I'm just kind of helping us to do what revision. So if you have learned something today's revision, please endeavor to subscribe, like, share, and comment.